internet, my name is Lave and I watched Yesterday, which I was actually meant to see last Monday. My mate texted me saying that he had preview tickets to see it early and I was like, that's brilliant. That means I won't have to choose between this and Apollo 11, which both get officially released on Friday. But the cinema wasn't local and the tickets weren't guaranteed. We got there late and missed it. It was fully booked. So once again, I had to choose between this and Apollo 11. And I went with this because it's a British film and it felt like it was a long time coming. So this one is about a kid called Jack, an aspiring but unappreciated singer-songwriter on the verge of giving up when one day the entire world experiences a strange electrical blackout and he's hit by a bus. And when he wakes up, he wakes up in a world where the Beatles never existed. So he decides to use it to his advantage and pass off their songs as his own. So let's start with the two leads. Firstly, Himesh Patel, who UK viewers might recognize as Tamwa from EastEnders, this being his first feature film. His character in this, Jack Malik, has a similar sense of humor to him. He's a bit sarcastic, but I'd say he's more extrovert, and, uh, but still down to earth. And, and the guy can really carry a tune. I did enjoy his renditions of all of the songs. But what I really like about the film is that he can't remember all of the songs or indeed all of the words to the songs and it's not like he he immediately rockets to fame as well it still takes him a little while to to climb up the ladder i also really liked the chemistry he has with his long-term friend from childhood turned manager called ellie played by lily james who is hands down the best thing in the film on a couple of occasions i made a mental note to myself saying well, wow, Lily James was brilliant in that scene because her character hopes that their relationship can go beyond the friend zone. But as his stardom rises, it becomes more and more unlikely. In many ways, this film really reminded me of Ricky Gervais's film, The Invention of Lying, but with the Notting Hill treatment. It's got the same themes of normal everyday people encountering stardom and then learning what is truly valuable in life, which isn't that surprising considering the screenplay has been written by Richard Curtis, the guy behind Notting Hill and many other movies. But at times it did feel a little bit too familiar, like he's taken some of his ideas from Notting Hill and just recycled them and put them in this. Certain scenes play out exactly the same way and it basically all builds to the same conclusion and certain characters feel like they've been lifted from Notting Hill. Joel Fry plays a character called Rocky, this goofy sidekick character who is basically the same character as Reese Iffen's Spike from Notting Hill. That's not to say that the characters and the film didn't make me chuckle. I wouldn't say I laughed out loud but I did chuckle quite a bit. Like Sanjeev Baskar was great as Jack's dad who could have had more scenes to be honest even though he does have the funniest moment in the film and Kate McKinnon is good in a semi-serious role as a music producer trying to cash in on Jack's newfound talent. On top of that you've got Ed Sheeran playing Ed Sheeran who was actually in the film way more than I thought he was going to be. I thought it was just going to be like a glorified cameo but he actually has quite a big part and he's okay. He's a bit wooden in some scenes but he does poke fun at himself so that was pretty cool and also in a world that's set in an alternate reality where pop culture figures are erased from history unfortunately James Corden is still James Corden in this universe now there is another famous actor in the film but done up to not look like this famous actor and I don't think it's a spoiler to say who it is because I think it is an uncredited role but if you don't want to know then you should skip to this time frame in the video Okay, so this famous actor is Robert Carlyle and he's done up in a load of prosthetics to not look like himself and I clocked it straight away. I was like, oh my God, that's Robert Carlyle. Now, the, the scene that he's in, I think on paper is brilliant, but there's something about its execution just didn't work for me and I think it's because it was Robert Carlyle and his accent was all over the place. I think I need to see it for a, a second time to really pass my final judgment on it but it was meant to be like the emotional peak of the film and it was just after another emotional peak between 
Himesh Patel and Lily James's character and yeah maybe it could have been cut but even before that scene the film felt like it was beginning to drag for me as it progresses from the second to the third act the director Danny Boyle does inject some of his creativity and visual flair to it but for me the problem was with the top heavy script which I do think is a cool concept and a nice love letter to the Beatles but the film for me felt like it was having way more fun in the first act as it was establishing its presence premise and the rules of this universe. By the second and third act I felt like it was starting to lose steam as it fell into familiar territory. So that's my thoughts on yesterday and pause the video if you want to take a closer look at my enjoyment tracker now. As a cinema experience I thought it was okay, I think it's a pretty good date movie but it's a film that I'd probably enjoy if I just caught on like a, a Sunday afternoon or something like that when I'm hungover and I just want to watch something kind of reasonably charming. I don't think this is Richard Curtis's best work and I don't think it's it's Danny Boyle's best work, despite that sounding like the, the ultimate dream team. So let me know if you've seen Yesterday and tell me what your favourite Beatles song is down in the comments below. And as always, thanks very much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you can, give it a like and don't forget to share the lave. All you need is lave. 